Should I use Wix? Should I use WordPress? That is the question. I mean, if you look at them both, they both beginner friendly. You can use them both to create a portfolio or run a business. So in this video, I'll walk you through seven vital features which could help you decide which website builder you could go with. So will it be Wix or will it be WordPress? Let's go. Hi, my name is Lisa. I'm a WordPress content creator and I spend a fair chunk of my time building websites on either Wix or on WordPress. And trust me, I'm not gonna lie about this, Wix is so much easier to use when you have no idea when it comes to building a website. And when it comes to WordPress, that can be super stressful because of the plugins you may need when building your website. But they also have templates too to make your life easier. So let's have a look at the important features when it comes to Wix and WordPress. Hopefully this can give you an idea on which website builder to choose from when it comes to building your website. So pay attention, these are the seven features that we'll be focusing on. Number one, ease of use. Number two, customization. Number three, visual editor. Number four, SEO. Number five, pricing. Number six, e-commerce. Number seven, customer support. And I'll be rating these website builders out of five, one being the worst and five being the best. So to the beginners out there, I got you. And while you're here, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button because you never know, you might be saving a beginner's life. So do the right thing. Okay, and now let's go to point number one. Number one, ease of use. Wix is easy to use hands down. WordPress requires a small learning curve. And from my personal experience, when it comes to WordPress, it took me about a month to get used to it and Wix took me a couple of hours to get comfortable with. You can drag and drop any item on your site and make it mobile responsive without any effort. The reason why Wix is so much easier to use is because of their target audience. Wix is not trying to convince any developer to jump onto their platform. Wix caters to beginners who want to put up a pretty website. WordPress is also beginner friendly, but it does require a small learning curve as I've mentioned before. So Wix user friendliness comes with an additional cost which lies in the technical back end, which I will mention later on. Although we recommend WordPress as a website builder, and I gotta admit to you guys that WordPress is not the number one intuitive platform compared to Wix. Which is why we've created a full guide on how you can set up your website at a minimal cost onto our YouTube channel. Now, to rate the ease of use, WordPress has 3.5 over 5 and Wix has 5 over 5. Number two, customization. When you want your website to stand out of a crowd, we are talking about plugins, widgets, and features which allows your visitors to have a unique user experience when it comes to your website. Thus, when you fully want to customize your website, WordPress is totally taking the cup on this one. The reason why I gave WordPress a higher score is that the library of plugins and widgets is close to endless. You can install thousands of free plugins and paid plugins to customize your website. Plus, you can add custom codes on WordPress too. Even though the Wix market has expanded their app selection to 288 apps, they are still not close to the options you find on Adveto at WordPress.org. Plus, Wix is limited when it comes to making your own code or getting a developer to do it for you. Now on the real, if you want to make real customization on your website, you better choose WordPress. Now when it comes to customization, I give WordPress 5 out of 5 and Wix 3.5 out of 5. Number 3, Visual Editor. Wix hands down is winning on the drag and drop game. Wix templates are aesthetically pleasing and well designed that you don't need to change much when using their templates. Wix has worked a lot on its intuitiveness and simplicity, so I give it a 5 out of 5 on its visual editing design. To describe Wix in a simpler way, Wix is like the Canva of website design. And when it comes to WordPress, Elementor Pro is not so far off when it comes to their drag and drop functions. When you compare the two, you can tell how simple it is to design a website. However, when using Elementor, you do need a brief tutorial to fully grasp the spacing, margin, and padding of sections, which is why it makes it less intuitive than Wix. Currently, Wix has over 800 pre-made templates compared to thousands of WordPress themes that WordPress has to offer. So to score it off, WordPress has 4 out of 5 and Wix has 5 out of 5. Number 4, SEO. 
In the SEO community, people swear by WordPress. 90% of people will tell you that they used WordPress to build their websites. But what I found is that both Wix and WordPress help beginners like you and me understand the basics on page SEO. They do a good job on meta descriptions, title optimization, headings, and internal links. You can install Yoast SEO for free or Wix Wiz for SEO suggestions that help beginners to learn the simplicity of search engine optimization. In 2006, Wix changed their SEO issues on their platform. So most features that you need them for SEO are there, such as canonical URLs, fixed URL structure, automatic sitemaps, and 301 directions. However, the reason why I decided to give Wix a low SEO score is because of the site speed. Wix site loads slower, which is detrimental when it comes to SEO. On the other hand, WordPress is still the chosen CMS and is better for more complex websites. For example, if you run a multilingual website. So the score we're giving it is WordPress 5 out of 5 and Wix 4 out of 5. Number five, pricing. Okay, now let's talk about money. So what is cheaper, WordPress or Wix? If you're a beginner, trust me, every penny counts, so let's make this short. Wix is cheaper for short term. Let's say you want to build a website for an event. However, WordPress is more affordable in the long term, especially if you want to build a business or an affiliate website. So let's break this down. Let's take an example of the cost of a single website for one month. To build and set up a website, you need to host a domain name. In principle, these two are enough to build a website. And Wix pricing gives you these basics. You can host your website on Wix and create a custom domain such as priceexampletraining.com. The price of one website per month on Wix starts from $12.50 per month. Whereas if you buy a domain and hosting provider separately, the price per website is $5.50 according to the example with WPX.net. However, if we compare these prices, Wix, price for hosting and domain name on Wix website is $12.50. Here's the math if you choose a separate hosting plan and domain name. WPX hosting plan is $21 per month, up to five websites. Name cheap, $15 per year on average. Per month with WordPress, $23 and per month with WPX hosting and Namecheap per website is $5.50. Both websites provide free SSL certificates. WPX.net storage plan starts with 15 gigs compared to Wix, which their storage plan starts with 10 gigs. So calculate your budget wisely when it comes to Wix versus WordPress. If you break this down, WordPress becomes more affordable when it comes to customizations and storage options. When it comes to pricing, I give the score WordPress 4 out of 5 and Wix 3 out of 5. Number 6, e-commerce. Both Wix and WordPress can be used to create an e-commerce website or an online store. The main difference is what type of product you would like to sell. But let's go over the main features first. With Wix, Wix comes with an e-commerce specific features such as creates product pages, manages orders and shipments, and accepts online payments. And as mentioned earlier on, Wix is simple for beginners. If you want to sell a t-shirt or homemade products, Wix is a great option for you. You can pick any of their pre-made templates and your online store will look professional in five minutes. However, Wix does have limitations when it comes to building an e-commerce website. It is very challenging to build a large-scale online store on Wix. You will not be able to customize as much as WordPress. WordPress, on the other hand, is highly customizable with plugins and themes to add additional functions, such as data import or exports, email capture, adding specific product information, on WordPress, you can easily own your data and import and export them. Whereas you wouldn't be able to on Wix. This is a huge red flag if you own an e-commerce store. You want to be able to export data from your website to keep it secure. So make sure you decide on your e-commerce products wisely. If you're a beginner and want to build a large e-commerce store, you can always outsource this as a WordPress developer so they can build the website for you. 
if you choose Wix, even a developer would have a challenging time customizing your online store. However, both Wix and WordPress can be used to create an online store. And to build online stores for medium-sized businesses and complex products, the best choice should be WordPress. The overall score we gave WordPress 5 out of 5 and Wix 3 out of 5. Number 7. Customer Support Wix and WordPress offer customer support for their users, but which one is best? In my opinion, Wix has a better customer support compared to WordPress. Not only are Wix's available chat support performs better, but their tutorials are so beginner friendly, even though their platform is already so intuitive. Here's a quick comparison of customer support options for Wix and WordPress. Wix offers direct customer support through its website with Support Center. Furthermore, Wix includes articles, video tutorials where you can follow the exact steps to build or fix your website. And if you're having a bigger issue, you can book a phone call with them as a premium user. With WordPress, WordPress is an open source CMS, does not offer any direct support to users. Therefore, most WordPress users have to rely on channels like us and watch tutorials from other WordPress users. On the other hand, you can also read WordPress.org support forums where users can ask help and assistance from other WordPress users and developers. Plus, once you've installed individual plugins or themes, you can contact the creators directly. You wouldn't have to reach out to WordPress. So, as a beginner, Wix is still the better option when it comes to customer service. Wix will be more likely to help you out compared to WordPress. So, the scoring we give is WordPress 2 out of 5 and Wix 4 out of 5. Okay, now that you know the important features between WordPress and Wix, we collected the most popular types of websites. If you look at it both, Wix and WordPress are fantastic website builders for beginners. And the final choice depends on your website goals. You can use our table as reference or read more in our blog in the link description box below. And in our next video, I'll show you another beginner-friendly tutorial and show you how Gutenberg Block Editor works. So don't miss out. I'll see you next time. Bye!